Anyway, so you, you kind of mentioned uh, nature in passing there. I know nature is a way that you connect with God, uh, a time where you can also, going back to your earlier experiences of solitude with God, nature is a good way to do that. Mm -hmm. what, are, what are your thoughts on people getting in nature as a way to connect with God? Well, I think it's no mystery to us now at this point. We all know that we live in a very fast-paced world that is completely full of technology and it is difficult to get outside of that. Uh, but nature is one excellent place to do that where they're, you know, the animals, they're not on their smartphones. They're, uh, they're <laughs> doing animal things and the plants are growing and they're, no, they're in no hurry. And um, so that is one reason I love to be in nature. And, and I mean, I must say, I am not the most outdoorsy person in the world. I don't love bugs. You know, I don't love dirt all that much. You know, I'm not like trying to get my fingers all nasty, you know, in the, in the sand and whatnot. We'll get you out of that. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not trying to just go backpacking across the world. But, um, I, I have found so much uh, consolation in, in nature. And for me, I know this is probably going to sound so crazy and so ridiculous, but uh, this speaks to the taking the scripture at face value. In the Sermon on the Mount, Jesus says, consider the lilies, right? Consider the birds. They neither toil nor spin. They're, they're not concerned about the, getting the, the necessities of life. Mm -hmm. Um, so consider them. I like to consider birds and I do that and that greatly helps my spiritual walk. Uh, when I'm doing dishes at the house, I look out and I have a bird feeder and there's, you know, birds hopping around in there. My honest thought when I see that, and I'm not even in nature, that when I'm in my house, but I'm observing these birds and I'm thinking to myself, the Lord knows each and every one of those birds. Hmm. And they will not fall to the ground unless the Lord allows them to. And that, just remembering that, helps put into perspective for me how big God is and how small I am. And so when I feel that the Lord has asked me to do something that I'm afraid to do, or I feel my life heading in a direction, I'm nervous about something, I'm confused about something, I consider the birds, and I think, Lord, if you care for them, how much more do you care for me? Hmm. And that enables me. It actually increases my faith tremendously to be out in nature, to observe the Lord's creation, and uh, to be strengthened by it. It really it helps me do my practical, everyday, obedient walking out of my faith. I know that's like, that is so crazy, but... Well, it's not, not crazy to me. <laughs> I, it just, it helps me. Like, Andrew and I have been watching some nature documentaries recently, and I, I love that because I hear these incredible stories about how nature works symbiotically together and um, just the intricacies of God's creation. And then when I am afraid... And when I'm out talking to someone, I'm in an awkward situation, or I feel impressed to share the gospel or something, and I start to freak out. I think of that animal that I saw in that nature documentary, and I think, God, you're with me. I, I, I can't explain it, what it does in me, but it totally flips my perspective upside down and helps me remember that the earth is the Lord's footstool, and he is above all, and he is in all, through all, and... He's with me. That is just the greatest encouragement to me. So that's why I like to be in nature. So for me, nature, one of the things that I get out of nature is nature moves at a different pace. Yes. Right. We live in a, a very fast-paced world, as you've alluded to earlier. And going into nature, I'm always amazed at the speed at which it moves. Mm -hmm. Right. I think about deer and when I, I, I like to deer hunt, I am an outdoorsman, but I'm a, cons, uh, a nature uh, 
conservationist as well, right? And so when I, I love to observe nature, and the thing that gets me with deer is they can just stop and be still for such long periods of time. If they think there's any danger or anything going on, there's just no hurry about them. Unless right. they, the only time they ever get in a hurry is if they get startled or scared. But that pace, when I get in nature, it helps slow that pace. Yes. And I think we have to have a slower pace if we're going to hear God. Yes. It's difficult to hear God when we're moving at warp speed. Yeah, it, it reminds us, I am moving frantically. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and these creatures are not. And the Lord is taking care of them. Right. And he'll take care of us too. Right.